Hi everybody, my name is Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my May 2018 book haul. So for the month of May, I have quite a few books I want to talk about, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first book I want to talk about is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, which I actually did start reading today. And I talked about this in my monthly um, TBR for May, so you might have heard that mentioned there. From what I can tell, this follows um, Mia and her daughter Pearl, and they move into a house owned by the Richardsons. And it seems like it's about an unconventional family dynamic in a very like rule oriented nuclear family based suburban neighborhood and for people that don't know what a nuclear family or nuclear family is a nuclear family is basically your standard mom dad two kids in the suburbs that's what a nuclear family is and i've only heard good things about this so i'm really excited to get into this i have a ton of homework with finals coming up but this is my first priority so the second book i picked up was the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed and if you watch booktube regularly you have heard about this book this is everywhere like this made so many people's favorite of 2017 it's just like you can't miss it so this is basically about Evelyn Hugo and basically she told a reporter at some point I will tell the story of my life like the full thing unabridged and this is basically her doing that and just the story of her life and it's supposed to be really great so I'm really looking forward to this one too and if you've watched even more than one of my videos, or even just one of them at this point, you know that if you hear noise in the background, it is my son Kane playing or doing his thing, getting into my stuff. That's fine. That's just what he's going to do. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. But that's just what babies do. They just get into your stuff and they make noise with no disregard for other people trying to film a booktube video, Kane. So the second book I picked up is you are a badass at making money and I know that like self-help books can be kind of corny and I don't have many of them but I can be pretty bad with money management so I've heard a lot of good things about the you are a badass the first one it's like one of Amazon's like top sellers so I really wanted to check this one out because my local Target had it and like a ton of the books I got this month are like green and aqua and I know that's a ridiculous reason to get a book but I wanted to read it anyway and it happened to be green so here we are. The next book I got was All the Beautiful Lies by Peter Swanson and this I don't know much about this I know that this is a thriller and I know that it has a lot of like jarring and provocative relationships in it. It sounds like it's about a guy named Harry that falls in love with his stepmom, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But I plan to get to this this month. I don't really like to go into thrillers knowing too much because I find that that usually like spoils the book nine times out of ten. So I read um, The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson in January, I believe, and I loved it. It was crazy. I remember telling my boyfriend like, this book is insane and like telling him literally every plot twist and he was like that sounds ridiculous so I was excited to have another recommendation from Peter Swanson. So I will let you guys know what I think about this in my May wrap up. So the next book I picked up is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass and everybody knows this just got released um, on the 4th I think? A, a couple days ago anyway. So this just came out and it's a novella that is the bridge between the original A Court of Thorns and Roses and her new and upcoming series. So I can't really say too much about this for people that don't know, but if you're into fantasy and fae and just ridiculousness and stuff that you'll love to be trash for, then check out A Court of Thorns and Roses because I've recommended that series to quite a few people now and everybody I've recommended it to has loved it so just be prepared to become trash that's all I can really say the next book I picked up 
this month was To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo and this has been all over booktube. It's basically a Little Mermaid retelling with like a siren-esque vibe. All I know is that our main character's mom and her are sirens and they like collect the hearts of boys once a year I think is what it is and then basically something happens and she's cursed to have to be a human and collect a heart probably to become a mermaid again because that's like how the original Little Mermaid retellings went so it's supposed to be dark but I've also heard sort of mixed reviews so I'm excited to check that out for myself this month if I'm feeling in a fantasy mood so. The next one I picked up was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This one takes place in a boarding school where I'm pretty sure everybody that goes there has some sort of like extraordinary talent and the person, I don't call me on that, I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't like to go into them knowing too much, but from what I remember somebody else describing, um, they, it's about a boarding school where everybody is sort of like the best at what they can do and the person who started the boarding school got murdered and so our main character like wants to be a detective and like sort of is fascinated with figuring out what happened to the person who like is the founder of the school so yeah I'm excited to see what this is about. Next one I have is one that has been all over booktube just in general the whole start to this series and that is Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman and this cover is just gorgeous like I just love the face and then like the green like reflection it looks like with these flames oh I just love it it's it's gorgeous and it's kind of thick honestly so um this is the sequel to Scythe and I have not read Scythe yet so I obviously don't know much about this one but Scythe follows a world where there is no poverty, there is no famine, there is no disease. And so to keep the population under control, we have these people called Scythes who basically come off and kill people off and they decide who dies and when they die and all of that. And so Scythes are supposed to be completely non-biased, but as we find out, they are not always not biased. So I'm excited to start this. I've heard a lot of good things. Um, even though like dystopian isn't really as popular as it was before, I've only really heard good reviews. So these will, I will get to these very soon. And this next one is one I've been wanting to pick up for a while that I honestly don't know too much about. Again, I know that's so annoying and it's such a common theme, but really it's like there are so many spoilers on the back of books and like the publishers I may, either don't know or just don't care and like want to intrigue, intrigue you beforehand. But anyway, I really do try and go in not knowing much, but this one is The Falconer by Elizabeth May and it has basically been described to me as a fey Buffy the Vampire Slayer so that's really all I needed to know and it's a trilogy and these covers are just gorgeous so anyway we are at the very end of this book haul I only have two left so let me just hurry up and get it together so the second to last one I have is actually a middle grade and that is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill um this is supposed to be a story about a town who every year they set out a child as an offering to this like supposedly evil witch who they think like eats the kid and they do this to like keep pe they keep the peace. It's just like a tradition they've had and um, it turns out that this witch that they give it to is actually really nice and she feeds the kids starlight and then like gives them um off to other families like afterwards like she raises them um but then she accidentally feeds one of the girls moonlight and she gets um like supernatural ability sort of i could that could be mixed up um the starlight and the moonlight but i'm pretty sure that's the way it is and um she ends up keeping this child that she's fed the moonlight and raising her as her own and yeah that's all I know about this one and it sounds really cute and it's obviously won the Newbery medal and the cover is just so buttery oh I love it but anyway so I will be getting to this one pretty soon it's kind of big honestly for middle grade I mean 
like almost 400 pages but and the final book i got is yet another thriller because i was in a mood apparently and that is then she was gone by lisa jewel and this is a thriller about a girl who a girl about a woman who had a daughter that she lost i'm not sure how i think that's like the point you're not supposed to know how but anyway so her daughter is gone and then eventually she starts dating this man and he has a few children of his own and one of his daughters the youngest one that would be around her daughter's age it looks like suspiciously similar to her daughter and so she's sort of going through this thing of like you never really forget like is that my kid is it not like what is going on so I'm in a thriller mood for some reason like just regular like fiction-y thrillery so I don't know how much fantasy I'm gonna get to this month but yeah I'm excited about this so these are all of the books that I got this month. I am so excited for them. Oh god, we're gonna fall. Um, if you guys have any questions about my thoughts on any of these once I finally get to them, I will obviously talk to you guys in the comments. Otherwise, if you guys have read any of these, please let me know what you think because I love being able to like connect with you guys and talk to you about what you thought of a book. Like that's literally the only reason why I'm making these videos to begin with, so. Yeah, I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments and thank you so much again for watching one of my videos and I will see you soon. Bye!